In this video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we create a hyperterminal session to a Cisco router or a switch. The first thing we're going to need to ensure is that we have a correct cable type, which in our case has to be a rollover cable. Now the rollover cable is used to connect the console port of a device like a router or a switch to the COM port of a computer. This diagram represents the correct wiring of the second terminal of the rollover cable. The first termination needs to be done the way a standard Ethernet cable would be wired. The end result is that the second end is going to be the mirror image of the first end. In other words, if I was to hold them up next to each other, the wires will be in the opposite order. Some other things to remember about CAT5. It comes in both stranded and unstranded types. And stranded is generally used for patch cables so that it can provide some flexibility. Unstranded or solid core is used more for in-wall wiring. And also remember that there are different RJ45 ends for both stranded and unstranded wiring. Now once the rollover cable is connected to either serial port 1 or 2 on the back of your PC or laptop, you can then establish a connection to the router or the switch by connecting the other RJ45 to the console port of the device. Now we're going to start this hyperterminal session by going to start programs, accessories, communications, and then clicking on hyperterminal. Now once the hyperterminal program actually starts, we need to give the connection a name. For this demonstration, let's use Cisco. Once I've named the connection, all I have to do is click on OK. Next, we got to ensure that the settings for the COM port that we're using is properly set. In this case, we're using COM1. With that done, we just click on OK. And now we can get into the actual settings for the hyperterminal session. Now for all Cisco devices, the baud rate or the bits per second is set to 9600. We do that and then we go down to data bits which we leave at 8. Parity will be none. Stop bits is 1. And flow control we set to none. Now once we've ensured that our settings are correct for this hyperterminal session, all we have to do is click on OK. And all that's left to do is to hit enter if your router or switch is turned on or turn the device on and watch it boot up. 